This is a special toast to Bayern Munich for winning their eighth Bundesliga title in a row. Guys, I, I, I want 10. I want 10. I will not rest until I see 10 because I am fighting very hard for a team to have a decade of consecutive wins. So, um, it's quite, it's quite a few. So, be, be very careful as I take this in. So, this is for Hansi Flick for taking over from Roberto Kovac and turning this team around and making them one of the best performing teams out there. This is for Alfonso Davis. I know you got two yellow cards and everything, but for being one of the best young players in the world, this is for Thomas Muller turning his career around and really reminding us that he's still that dude. This is for the Polish new. This is for Robert Lewandowski for having quite an exceptional goal-scoring season and scoring the definitive goal. It is so apt that was Lewandowski's goal that pretty much sealed the deal. And for everyone else, this one's for you. Well done. Quality. Amazing. And we always knew this was going to happen. And that's why you, ha you have to start with love. You have to start with love. Love is how you must begin. So for Banini, congratulations. Well done. You won the title. You're the champions of Germany. And you have shown and enforced your incredible dominance on the game. Can you see what this says there? See that? Can you focus on this? What does this say? Please just focus on that right there. Now focus on this. That's that word over there. Eight and, and row. Let's deal with those. Eight and row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a row. In a row. In a row, consecutively. Does it? Can, can someone pause? Because. I'm um, let me because I'm not before I even come to those losers, those losers. Yes, I'm, I'm calling you losers. Those losers from the, the Dortmund fans, Munchen Gladbach, Leverkusen, Schalke, losers. I'm calling you losers. Before I address those losers, I want to address Bayern fans. I want to address Bayern fans. Be happy. Jump up and down. Jump, jump, jump. Chris Cross will make you jump, 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 jump. Be happy. Celebrate yourselves. Be, be spry. Be spry. <laughs> How do you feel about your team winning eight titles in a row? Are you truly happy? Because this is not, let's not get real. What makes you happier? Winning easily or winning through difficulty? What's more satisfying? sleepwalking and walking through with an easy win or having to fight real hard all the way to really squeeze out that win? Because what are we really talking about here? I've been saying for a long time that the domestic game is in disarray. It's a shambles. This is a disgrace. This is a disgrace to German football. This is a disgrace to the Bundesliga. And anybody that tells me otherwise is a, is, is, is a fool. Anybody that tells me that a team winning eight league titles in a row consecutively, anyone that says that, that that isn't ridiculous, it isn't embarrassing, it isn't disgraceful, you are an ignorant fool. You're an ignorant fool. So for Bayern fans, take a step back. Because you can... Because, see, your program, your program to be like, I must celebrate anything good that my team does. I must be happy with anything that my team does. But 
as you celebrate, how happy are you truly? Because my God, this is really easy. It seems that to win something eight times in a row, I don't think there's much competition. And if there's no competition, how happy can you truly be? If I win against someone who hardly fights back, who poses no competition towards me, I can jump and be happy as all I want, but it won't feel as good. But if I, I, I had to sweat, I had to struggle, it was hard. I had to dig in deep. I had to find something from somewhere. I was even losing at, at one point. And I had to, then the win is far more satisfying. It means far much more. Well, I want to address those other teams. Because... You're, you're, you are losers you are because by definition you're losers because you didn't win the league and also you've found a way not to, be, to not stop a team from winning eight times in a row so so for, for eight times eight times eight years in a row you've not, you've not been able to, to stop stop them so by definition you are losers but the thing is this are they compromised because I fight for the integrity of football. That is why the Champions League is so important. That's why the World Cup is so important. That's why the Euros is so important. That's why the Nations Cup is so important. That's why the Euros, that's why the Cup of America is so important. I fight for the integrity of football. And the integrity of football is parity. The integrity of football is competition. The integrity of football is you have to squeeze and dig in deep. Competition is vital for this sport to survive. You take away competition, the sport dies. The sport isn't interesting anymore. What makes this interesting, what makes this engaging is the difficulty. <laughs> It's posing a challenge. It's like whenever you play a video game, because both times, because I'm not a gamer, I'm not, I'm not that good at games, I'm just like a standard casual game gamer, I always put it at like the normal difficulty, never easy. Because if I put it at, at easy, then I wouldn't enjoy it. Because normally it's like, okay, yo, I now have to really struggle a bit and go through, okay, okay well, boom, boom. And now if I find normal too easy, I put it up to hard. I put it up to very hard. It's like... um. And and that's what you want. Like for instance, pro evil. In every pro evil game, I always put it as professional because I know that I find regular too easy. So I put it as professional, and sometimes I'm a, I'm a good top top player. But at the very least, I put it as professional because I because I am best at football games. Because my enjoyment of it is, I had to dig in deep and try really hard to win. And sometimes part of the enjoyment is losing as well. Lose that damn and lost damn. Let me re regroup and then and then come back in. But if it's easy, you're winning it so easy. How much satisfaction can you have? So for buying the fans, I look at you again. Are you happy? Are you genuinely happy? Are you genuinely happy that your team has won eight titles in a row? Because what makes why real my mom? Madrid, why what they did is so special is that Champions League of three in a row, we'll never see it again in our lifetime. We will most likely we'll never see it again in our lifetime. We may we will see two, we will see a team defend it twice in a row. I thought it would be Liverpool, but it wasn't. Three in a row, I don't think we're, we're seeing that in the in lifetime because the level of competition is too high, which is why what Real Madrid did was simply outstanding. Because by definition, it is had to win it three times in a row because the, the t you're facing teams at such a high level. But the issue with a Bundesliga, with an Uber Eats, with a Syria, uh, one team is super strong, the rest can't even begin to compete with them. The whole big thing was Bayern, Dortmund, Bayern, Dortmund, Bayern, Dortmund. And Bayern, pretty much in both games, beat them pretty easily. And even if we try to hype it up as their classica, their classica, realistically, we know Dortmund are going to lose. Because they're so vastly inferior and they're so vastly inexperienced. And it also doesn't help when Bayern take a lot of their, their stars. But again, you know, you have to say, Kong, let me be real. Okay, you know what? Enough of the, of the, of the fake HH. I give you kudos based on the kind of victory you have. There are different levels of victories. Not all victories are the same. Not all victories are the same. The victories on Bayern Munich, PSG, Juventus, they're, they're still victories. That's why I started with the um, Honey 
tasted um, Jack Daniels because you have to congratulate. So a win is a win. They are winners, and I love winners, and I will always compliment and congratulate winners. But where are we now in football? What the hell is happening? Where, what the hell is happening? What is football without competition? This is the sport. And a sport can only truly exist and truly thrive with competition. If there's no competition, it ceases to be a sport. It ceases to be entertaining. It ceases to be engaging. And specifically for Bayern fans, as much as you celebrate this deep down, you're like, there is, there is no, there is no true satisfaction here because it's too easy. Eight titles, eight titles in a row is too easy. Eight titles in a row tells me that Bayern should not be in the Bundesliga anymore. That it's too easy. That they have outgrown the Bundesliga unless the Bundesliga vastly changes and the other teams get a lot, a lot more money and attract better players. Bayern Munich have outgrown the Bundesliga. There is no point in even turning up next season. Now I want them to turn up next season because I want ten in a row. Okay, that's that's just me. For my for my for my Twitter narrative, I want Spanik and I want Juventus to give me 10 in a row. I need that for my narrative. I am begging you. So please buy it. Leave the Bundesliga after after two seasons because I need you to win two more. Just just two just two just two, just two more and, and that'll be it. Um but yeah. The integrity of football is at stake. Eight. Become a Football Hot member and gain access to cool emojis on the live streams and get access to new YouTube content by clicking the join button here. And to view that new content, crack, head over to the YouTube channel homepage and click on the community tab over here.